just another day on the job for Andrew Pinfold. Yes, he's working right now. He's a member of the BC-based Symmetric Cycling team that's competing at the upcoming Tour de Gastown. They found that uh, the BC cyclists weren't really competitive. They were on individual teams, but uh, and, and the American teams that were coming up uh, American professional teams were, were really beating up on the BC riders. Individually, BC cyclists have always been strong, but together the Symmetrics, who formed in 2003, have been able to win races, including the Tour de Yale Town and the Tour de Cuba in February. People often call bike racing chess on wheels because there's often a lot of strategy as well in terms of, you know other riders and other teams' strengths and weaknesses. We'll have two or three riders like myself and, and perhaps Zach, Zach Bell and we'll try not to do anything during the race and, and riders will protect us, meaning we're going to be shielded from the wind because drafting is such a big thing, right? If I have a teammate in front of me, I'm working 30% less towards the end of the, to the bike race, having teammates in front of me to lead me out, to, to, to guide me to the finish so that maybe I only go hard for the last 200 meters of the race. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands... And all those strategies will be in use on June 18th Christine, at the annual Tour de Gastown. Jonathan Warnell says it's a great place for riders and spectators. It's a short course, multiple lap race. Uh, this one's 1.2 kilometers each lap. So riders will be doing it in just about a minute, a little over a minute. So it's fairly fast, so you will see them come around a number of times. It gives a better perspective to fans about how the race unfolds, because they see it coming around so fast. Speeds get up to 70, 80 kilometers an hour in the final sprint, so it's, it's pretty high, it's high speed. The Tour de Gastown is just a part of BC Super Week, which sees races in Burnaby, White Rock and Delta, as well as Gastown. For Andrew, though, Gastown is unique. The course is relatively difficult. I mean, it has some brick sections that, that, uh, that, that are a little bit difficult, and we also usually, the race, typically runs a little bit late, so we're always finishing in the dark, which is, can be interesting. And you get to race in front of 30,000 people, which is something we don't do very often. The Tour de Gastown is taking place July 18th, and this year they're making it very family friendly, so make sure you come down to Gastown early and that you yield to cyclists. And there are lots of other events going on this summer. Here are a few more for you to check out.